Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We have got a gorgeous, gorgeous day ahead. A little chilly this morning. Temperatures for many have dropped back into the 30s, but overall, great weather ahead of us. We're going to see plenty of sun, which isn't something that's not showing up on future casts. We are actually seeing a lot of sun this morning. It's going to be a sunny day, not too much wind. Temperatures well into the 60s, if not low and mid 70s out there. I'd say upper 60s, low to mid 70s for highs. Warmest temps will be in the southwest, and we also could see some breezier conditions in western Nebraska compared to everywhere else. Heading into tonight, clear skies. Uh, winds will start to pick up later in the night. A little cool, but not nearly as chilly as this morning with 40s and 50s for lows. Heading into tomorrow, a warm but a windy day. We do trade off those warmer conditions for stronger winds out of the south, and by Saturday night, <clears throat> A chance, a small chance of showers and storms is going to be a possibility. Well, let's take a look at your highs for today, topping out in the upper 60s to low 70s up towards the north. Plenty of sun, light winds will become southeasterly at 5 to 15 miles per hour. The winds out west will actually become a little stronger later today, especially closer to the Colorado border, looking at highs in the mid 70s this afternoon. In the south, we're looking at low to mid 70s. Again, light winds only keep picking up to around 5 to 10 miles per hour later on. And to the east, the winds will actually lighten up through the day, looking at highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Tomorrow warm and windy, that small chance of showers and storms tomorrow night. And then again Sunday afternoon, a slight chance of showers and storms, but I think a better chance in eastern portions of Nebraska. Uh, still warm on Sunday, but with the cold front coming through, we do start to cool things back. We'll feel that cool air a little more on Monday. Monday night, a slight chance of showers and storms, and then Tuesday into Tuesday night, a very interesting time frame. There is a good setup for the possibility of a severe weather outbreak to our south across parts of Oklahoma and parts of southern and maybe central Kansas. I don't think it's going to be far this far north, though. But that said, we could potentially, and I want to stress the word potentially, still see some severe weather during that time frame that we'll have to watch for. But again, there are still some big questions with Tuesday, basically on how far north or south the track of the storm ends up being. And that could determine how warm or cool it will be on Tuesday. So I have mid-60s, but we could end up being in the 70s. We could also maybe only be in the upper 50s on Tuesday. It just depends on the track of that storm system. Uh, again, good chances of rain, though, Tuesday into Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, slight chance of a lingering shower, an isolated thunderstorm before we dry things out. And we'll see some cooler air come in for the end of next week. And in fact, upper 30s, back in the upper 30s for lows Thursday morning. And maybe, hey, we could be flirting with uh, some sub-freezing temperatures in some locations towards the end of next week. So there you go. Pretty straightforward forecast, especially today. Nothing to complain about. Looks fantastic. So until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a fantastic Friday.